Hey guys and welcome to Vagtech. So in this video we'll see how to declare a pointer and how to initialize a pointer. In the previous video we have seen the basics of pointer. Now in case if you have any question or if you want me to solve any question then just go to the link given in description, open the page and search for your question. If the question is there then just watch the video given below the question and if the question is not there then just leave the question as a comment on any of my videos or you can just mail me and I'll try to post a video on that question as soon as possible. Now regarding declaration of pointer the syntax is here and this syntax is similar to the syntax of uh, declaration of variable because a pointer is also variable. So the syntax is like this you have to write the type first okay then you have to give a star sign and then you have to write the variable name that is a pointer name okay. So the only addition here is you have to use the star sign everything is same as declaration of variable. Now the type of the pointer specifies the type of the variable the pointer is pointing okay. So uh, integer pointer will point to an integer variable a float point pointer will point to a float variable. So here are the examples we have three pointers here the first one is integer star ptr1 which is an integer pointer that means that ptr will point to an integer variable okay because the type is integer second one is character pointer which means that the pointer ptr2 will point to a character variable and third one is a float pointer which means this will point to a float variable. Now we will see how to initialize a pointer okay. Now a pointer always stores an address of another variable okay. So a operator which is this and operator which is also called address of sign okay this operator is used for returning an address of a variable. Now if you want to access the address of any variable then just use this operator and you will get the address. We will see how to use this. Now use this operator to get the address of the variable and assign it to the pointer. Okay. So this is how you use the assignment of pointers. Just use this operator to get the address and assign the address to this to your pointer. Okay. We have example here. So here we have three lines of code. The first one is a code for creating a variable of type integer. So here we are creating a variable whose name is a of type integer. After this we are creating a pointer of type integer. Okay. So this pointer ptr will point to a type uh, to an integer variable. Okay. After this we are assigning the address of a to this ptr. Okay. Because see here and will give the address of a. Okay. And this address is assigned to a pointer that is ptr. PTR is a pointer of type integer and a pointer always holds the address of another variable. Okay, so here we have we are assigning the address of A to this PTR. Now here is example from the book. We have a variable whose name is i. Okay, so here is the code in the right side we have the code. Now in the first line we have two uh, variables. The first one is i and uh, type is integer. We are assigning value 25 to, to this i. Therefore, 25 is stored inside this i block. Okay, this block is for i, and the address of this is uh, i is 1050. Okay. Then we have a variable whose name is j, and which is type, which is of type integer, and this j is here. Okay, this is our j. Now after this, we are creating a uh, pointer of type integer, which is iptr. Okay, so we have created a pointer of type integer. So here is the block for iptr. Now a pointer is also variable therefore we are also given a block for this iptr. Okay. Now after this we are assigning the address of i to this iptr. Okay. Here you can see we have and of i which is assigned to iptr. Therefore now iptr will have the address of i. Address of i is 1050. Okay. Therefore after the execution of this line 1050 is stored inside this iptr. Okay. Now after this J, we are assigning the value of i is equal to j. Okay. Here we are assigning the value and we are not assigning the address. Okay. We are assigning the value here. Therefore j will become 25 because we are assigning the value of i and the value of i is 25 here. This is how it works. Okay. Now we will see another use of this star operator. Okay. The first use of this operator is to create a pointer and the second use is here. Now this star operator is also called add address sign okay and this returns the value at the address following it okay 
So this is this is the second use of this operator that it returns the value of the address following it. Okay, we'll see example here also. Now this process is called dereferencing. That is accessing the value at an address using this star operator. It is called dereferencing. So here is the example. We have a pointer. We have, we have a variable whose name is i, and we have a pointer of type integer which is pointing to this i. Therefore, we have uh, address of i that is 1050 stored inside this IPTR. Okay, here is IPTR. Here the value is 1050. It is the address of i stored inside this IPTR. Then what we are doing is we are assigning j is equal to star IPTR. This is called dereferencing because we are accessing the value at this address okay that, that is iptr now this uh, value is assigned to j therefore j will have the value at the address where iptr is pointing okay now the address that where iptr is pointing is 1050 and the value at 1050 is 25 okay therefore this j will have 25 here okay i hope it is clear because iptr PTR is pointing to this that is iptr having is having the address of 1050 and star will give the value at this address and the value of at this address is 25 therefore this is assigned to j now j will become 25 after this okay, so now we will see some important points so the star sign is used for uh, creating the pointer and for dereferencing okay so there are two uses of this star sign the and operator is also called address of sign and it, it is the same symbol that is that is used for bitwise and Okay, this is nothing but the AND symbol. Okay. Now, a pointer should always point to the same data type. That is, a integer pointer should point to integer variable and a float pointer should point to float variable. And the same way, all other pointers should point to the same data type. Now, pointer must always be initialized. It should not be left uninitialized. Okay. Now, if there is no value to uh, assign to the pointer, then just assign null to the pointer by using the null keyword. Okay. So these are the some important points. So yeah, that's it. And thanks for watching.